we're going to go to the uh, JCB and we'll have a little walk around what we've actually got here. I'm Richard Larrington, Larrington Trailers, and we have equipped this JCB uh, Fast Track 4220 with an Agri Brinks air inflation deflation system. We have a bumper on the front which has a 200 CFM compressor in. We have also got Michelin tyres on the back, on the side. Axio Bib 2s, 670 by th uh, 30s. We have got pipes going round the tyres in a very neat configuration. And on the back of the tractor, we have a five tine flat lift, a serious piece of kit. At the minute the tractor is now set for field pressures. What we're going to do is go across the field and we're going to see what sort of performance we get from the tractor by deflating the tyres down to half a bar on the front tyre and to one bar on the back tyres. With me driving the tractor today will be Peter Williams from JCB. Firstly, we're going to take a look at the air inflation system from Agribrinks. And here's the control panel. To the top left, you have the GPS speeds. To the top right, you have the pressure that's in the air tank. You can see that's floating towards an iron bar. Bottom left, you have two channels, one and two. Those channels represent, the first one represents the front axle, uh, and channel two is the rear axle. We've just come in the field and we've been going down the road with 1.3 bar in the tractor, uh, very stable, so you're around about 17, 18 psi. In the field now, we're going to instantly let it down. So Peter's going to pull the switch at the side down. That's what we call medium pressure, so it immediately goes down to one bar, 1.2, and we go down to field pressure. So now we're going to set it with half a bar in the front tire, and one bar in the back tire and you'll be able to see how fast that's it so that's how fast we can let the air out the four tires so if i just come back a little bit peter just give us a quick run down how we've set the tractor okay richard um so we've set the tractor up with four-wheel drive and diff lock we also have uh, some some cutouts put in so when we lift the arms up the the diff comes out and we've also uh, engaged slip control, so uh, we've set it at um, about 15% on the, on the slip, so if the wheel, if the tractor sees 15% slip, it'll adjust the, uh, the implements accordingly and to uh, maintain and gain optimum traction. Okay, so I'm going to climb out, Peter's going to get, do a run across the field and we'll see how he goes.
trying to show us registering the wheel slip. So that's just seen it do a run along and back out the field. The whole purpose of this is to prove that by using the ability of the VF tyres to decrease and spread their tread on the ground, you don't need to overweight a tractor. You use the air inflation kit which can take you up a road safely at high pressures, get in the field, let the air out fast and get on with your job. Don't weight the tractor because you can see how well we can spread the tyre on the ground to get it to grip. Thank you.